now hold up, cause I know I be out here like giving y'all game on lawsuits and jail time and all the dangers of sing. And I didn't even get back. Let me get back to the basics. Like, could could we take a step back, okay, from my newbies and my new super stories? Anyway, one stop the madness, okay? This is what we about to get into. Yes, one stop. That's that's what I said. One stop the madness, okay? Because the best song in the whole wide world. I mean, you could have an absolute best song. You you got the greatest song ever. Let me tell you, we love it, okay? But you won't make no money in sync. Because the best song in the world, if it can't be cleared, you ain't making no money. Okay, let's go. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. You ain't got money, that's a cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. Bubble on deck. I'm your host, Tamara Bubble. Yeah. AKA the I Hear Money Coach. Let me slide in closer. AKA your favorite sync superstar. Yeah, and I'm out here. Okay. I'm out here giving you gems. I'm out here giving you juicies. I'm out here giving you solutions. Okay. Like it's my middle name up in here. Yeah. I'm out here trying to help you become a whole sync superstar. We're going to activate it. That's what we're doing. Okay. Anyway. If you like what I'm giving, if you want more of it, just go ahead and leave that five star review like you don't know what to do. Actually, do it like you know what to do because you know what time it is. Okay, it's review time. It's share time. Share this podcast. Share this episode. Comment on social media. Tell your people about it. Okay, share with a musician that could prosper from this information. Okay, I need you to come to that YouTube channel and subscribe. Okay, I'm out here on this video. Okay, I'm out here getting cute for you anyway. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on them notifications. Yeah, I need you to get this information first. Don't wait for them slow pokes, okay? Come up on this sync superstardom first. Come out here early and get this info. Yeah. Anyway, I might go live if I like the engagement. I might hop up on here and do it on the spot, okay? When I see that you love it, when I know that you love it, when you show me that you love it because you sharing it and you commenting and you out here tripping, you got people act, you got you got people looking at you like you crazy like girl like it's just a podcast like you, you ain't got to tell everybody oh yes I do because I love this information that's how you need to be doing okay anyway I might get live when you get live when you get live about sharing yeah anyway I got a sponsor for this episode for the last episode probably for the next episode unless you reach out and you want to pay me some money to talk about your business we're going to talk about my business. Anyway, Sync Superstar Academy, that is the sponsor for this episode. Yeah. Visit SyncSuperstar.com because I need you to take this challenge. I'm out here converting these starving artists. Yes, that's what I do in my spare time. And I don't got much spare time. But anyway, in my spare time, I'm out here converting starving artists to Sync Superstars. Now, I just need 30 days, actually less than 30 days to activate your superstar. And then you're going to take the rest of the time to implement. You're going to take the rest of this time that you need. Take the rest of the time that you need to perfect it, to master sync. Okay. But I'm going to give you everything you need to get going. It's just going to boof, like little tip, tip you out the window. That's look, look you ain't going to die. Okay. It's going to hurt. It might look like girl. You just going to put me out here without a parachute. And then you're going to see you can fly out here in these sync streets. Anyway, this uh, podcast was created. Not to be number one. I mean, we gon' be, we are what we are. Yeah. But anyway, this was created to make you number one. Okay. This podcast was created with four goals in mind and I messed up on the word, but I don't feel I need to correct it. Cause look, I'll get it right next episode. Anyway, four goals in mind. The number one goal with this podcast is to save you money in your sink business. I want to say it's sexy because saving money is sexy. Yeah. I'm going to give you tax strategies. It's going to save you some money. Unprofessional. Okay. Just know that I'm a former CPA and this is not perfect. Look, I'll save the disclaimer for later, but let me just get back to the goals. I'm going to save you money in your sink business. And then, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to give you some gems and some juices, right? You're going to keep that information and start making some more money in music licensing. Because that's how you're going to be a sync superstar. You're going to have to start making more money in music licensing. I'm going to show you the way. Okay, hit subscribe and turn on them notifications. Stop playing with me. Anyway, the third goal is to transform your mindset. Because let me tell you something. I can give you strategies and tactics all day. But if your mind is acting funky... 
okay? You don't understand it. You're not understanding why I'm telling you to do what I'm telling you to do. You just wondering why I keep coming out here with a new episode. And I'm telling you, because I can't quit. Too legit to quit. Anyway, I'm going to give you some information to work on your mind. Okay, we're going to get your mind right. Definitely, if you take that Sync Superstar Challenge, I'm going to transform that mind. Okay, I'm going to get up in your whole brain. Okay, I'm going to make your brain start leaking. It's going to be wondering like, oh, oh my God, all this information. Oh, oh, oh my God, I know what to do. Oh, oh, oh my God, I think I'm a superstar. And then you're going to start acting on that information. Okay, the fourth goal is to act. Activate your superstar. I wouldn't have made this podcast for no other reason. I don't care about number one. I don't care about like little stupid stuff like that. I do want engagement. Okay. I do want to know when you appreciate the information, but I don't care about the number one because I already know this information is what you need. I'm out here superstarring. I want you to join me. How about that? How about there's enough room for you to win too? That's why I'm out here. I'm doing it for you. Oh, and that rhyme. I'm about to look. You know I'm a rapper and singer, but look, I just be out here being a poet and whatnot. Look, poet while I'm podcasting. Who gonna stop me? They can't look, they can't do nothing with me. So all they do is tune in. Anyway, when they tune in, just tell them that we got this disclaimer coming next. Cause the disclaimer gonna say, take this information and win. Okay. You getting it for free. Go ahead and use it. Use it to your advantage. How about that? How about you run up on some M's with this information and just know that you ain't going to sue me when things don't go your way. Okay. If you take some of this advice and don't apply it right. And you come up on a lawsuit, well, that would just be your fault. Okay. Okay. You would not be able to say, I gave you tax advice that you can sue about because I'm dropping this disclaimer right now to let you know this is free sync game. Okay. If you went with it, that's look, I'm proud of you. Yeah. But what I'm not going to do is pay you. Okay. Anyway, I'm already giving you information. Now you want money from me? Ew. Like who raised you? Okay. Let's get into the show. You talk money, I hear you. I hear money. What is that now? Look, the music just got so good. It started to confuse me. So I'm going to really reiterate right now. <laughs> this podcast is my personal opinion. This is not professional legal business or tax advice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now let's get into this one stop the madness. You ain't got money, then you start selling funny, and I just can't hit all my. I keep it moving like a tax collector, let the credit check, go let the whole world pay full price. Then you ain't got money, then you start selling funny, and I just can't shake that price. So, yeah, one stop the madness. Can we get into it? Because I made this episode because I know, like, you be thinking, like, uh, what I, I guess what I realized is that. People be learning different things at different stages. Like you'll be thinking somebody done. You got so many songs. They so much more experienced. They know the way. No, they don't. Ill, ill for thinking it. You be thinking, oh, this person is much older. They know the way. No, they don't. Ill, okay. Um, knowledge and experience and stuff. Look, ain't got nothing to do with this, okay. It ain't got nothing to do with understanding. Some people know better and still ain't even doing better. Anyway. Let's talk about this madness. Let's talk about one-stop split sheet agreements. Let's talk about how it applies in sync. And let's talk why you needs and gots to have it, okay? She's got to have it, okay? That ain't just a movie. He needs to have it. That ain't just a movie, okay? Anyway, so first, let's just talk about splits. Because I know I know what you're thinking. A lot of y'all is out here like, Bubba, look, one-stop split sheets is not a requirement in sync. I got my splits. People been telling me, make sure you sign a split sheet when you do music. And I want to get in the sync now. So what's your problem? Because we signed an agreement. We already know who owned what. Okay, first of y'all fall. First of all and all of the first. A lot of y'all split sheets, okay, even though it just got splits, y'all don't even be doing that right. Some of y'all can't add, okay, let's talk about it. Y'all signing stuff and ain't even did the math on it. And them numbers don't be numbering. And them things don't be coming out to 100% at the end of the day, okay? And when, when we talk in sync, we need 100% clearance, okay? Anyway, all right, so if you have a split sheet that you made, it's cool. And you could use that because you're going in the sync. So we know who owns what. Okay. And I know some music supervisors don't even care. Like if you don't have a one-stop split sheet agreement, they can still clear the song. Right? So remember I said at the, in the intro, the best song in the world, if you can't clear it, you ain't gonna make no money in sync. Okay. So now let me, let me break that down. Let me talk to you about these splits. All right. For music clearance, you need 100. Okay, let me breathe on the mic. 100. 
Okay, my breath is fresh. Know that. Anyway, you need 100% ownership cleared. Okay. In order for a song to get on TV. All right. So let's talk about the problems with not having a one stop because with these splits, right? Even though the music supervisor might not mind if you don't control a hundred percent. So, and I should say this too, we talking ownership and control. There needs to be a hundred percent control. Okay. In order to clear a song for sync. So when you have a hundred percent ownership, that's just the songwriters, the publishers and the master owners that own this song, right? When you have control, like say, for example, if you sign your song over to a sync agent, you are giving them control over it, even though you still own the song. So we talked about that last episode. All right. Ownership is not control. All you need in sync is to give somebody the control to clear the song. So now that's what a one-stop split sheet does. It gives 100% control to either one party or if you know how to word this stuff right and you know what you're doing out here in these streets, I'm just saying, okay, I got a template out here that gets rave reviews by music supervisors. But anyway, we'll talk about that later because that's part of the solution. We're going to get into these problems with your split sheet. Anyway, okay, so if you got a split sheet, that gives 100% control to either an agent or to one person that partially owns and uh, wrote the song or whomever, that is what makes it one stop. There is one person that can clear the entire song. And you have to remember there are two licenses for each song that needs to be cleared. Anytime you do a sync deal, whether you know this or not, whether you realize this or not, there are two licenses you're issuing. You're issuing a synchronization license for the publishing. Now remember the publishing is the publisher and the songwriter. That's what the word publishing means. It encompasses both. And then the master use license. And that's for all the master owners. You need to be able to clear 100% of the publishing and the master. Okay. Because you're going to get issued two licenses for that sync. All right. Now your splits. Okay. Therefore the splits on your split sheet need to cover those three different types of parties. Okay. So if you got a split sheet. Well, you just wrote who did the beat and who did the lyrics. Okay, who owned the publishing? Okay, how are we supposed to know who owned the publishing, first of all? how Because if your split sheet just got your songwriter shares, um, how are we clearing the publishing? Okay, because the publisher is not taken care of. And the same for the master. If you got the songwriter and the publisher information on your split sheet and don't talk about the master, okay, eel, how are we doing? How are we doing? A, look. Okay, we can clear your publishing, but we can't clear your master. Guess what that means? No money for you. Okay. Do you look, you got to clear both licenses to get this sync money. So, first of all, make sure your split sheet got everything. Okay, now if your cute little split sheet got all the splits for the songwriter, the publisher, and the master owner shares, okay, good for you. I'm happy. And if you know how to add and it adds up to a hundred and you ain't got decimals and, and places and things missing, and you didn't carry the one and borrow the two and negative the three and mess up your numbers, I'm proud of you, okay? Because if you got it and it ain't added right, it's like you ain't got it. They ain't going to be able to clear 100% of the song. And any percent of confusion means you don't get the placement. So I'm just going to put that out there in these streets. Okay. Now. Okay. So now you think you popping in these sync streets because you got your splits all deciphered and decoded and y'all signed agreements and whatnot. You think you can't be stopped. You unstoppable. And that's cool because if the music supervisor like your music, they're going to reach out to each one of the owners. And they're going to clear 100% of the song. But let me tell you the problem with that. Let me tell you why you need your agreement to specifically state that it's one stop. Okay. Because it's a couple things that could go wrong with that if there's more than one person that needs to be involved in order to clear that record. Okay. Let, let's just... Let's just go from the beginning because I got so many examples. It's just like, ew, let's just, let's just start. Let's talk about your old songs. Okay. Maybe your mama and your cousin and them, they used to make music back in the day. They could be making money with that sync music now, right? We done talked about period pieces in a previous episode. Look, watch the whole catalog. Just stop playing and thinking you need one episode to win. You need all of it anyway. All right, if you got old songs, or you know somebody with old songs and they could be out here making money with that sync music, first of all, probably, they probably didn't even sign no agreement back in the day, so they ain't even got no agreement. They can't make no money because you can't clear it. I done told you, you got to be able to clear it. But let's say you got an old song and you had your split sheets uh, signed, right? You got your uh, split sheet agreement signed and you got it on file still. Good for you. (laughs) 
But you can't find your, your friend from 30 years ago, okay? You don't know where they live, okay? They done moved to the moon, okay? You can't find them. The numbers, look, they can't keep their bill. They can't keep their phone bill on. So you can't get in touch with them. Music supervisor can't reach them, okay? It's been 10 years since you spoke. You don't know where they live. Now they holding back your money. You see why you should have had a one-stop split sheet? Is it is it registering, okay? What if your people, they, look, they done got married. They done changed the last name. You don't even know if this is the same person no more. Okay. They done, look, they done gained a couple pounds. You don't recognize them. You can't even clear your songs no more. Cause you don't know, you don't know your, you don't know your co-writers. Okay. You don't know your co-publishers no more. Okay. Anyway, look, let's say your, your, um, co-writers and your co-publishers and your co-master owners. Okay. One of them roll up on some money. Look, say say you did a song with Jeff Bezos, right? I think that's how you say his name. That guy with that money, right? Anyway, you roll up on him. He done he done became a quadrillion quadrillionaire. Okay, he done he got more zeros than you know about. Okay, he got more zeros than you can count in his bank account. Anyway, he out here. Look, you can't even reach him. You you got a deadline to clear this record, and you need to get in touch with the other uh party. He just played the drums back then. He just hit a few drums. Matter of fact, he just gave a few words on the record and y'all gave him a percentage or two. Okay. Now he done flew to the moon. He in a rocket. Okay. You can't reach him. You're going to lose your sync placement. Okay. Cause it's not one stop. Okay. They got too many stops to get to and he, you can't find him. Okay. He got too much money to pick up your phone calls. How about that? How about you got his phone number? You know where he at. He don't want to speak to you. Okay. You, but he make too much money to talk to you. How about that? Okay, and you just trying to clear this song and get your little 50000 for the year. But no, ma'am. No, sir. No money for you, okay? Because you can't clear the record on his behalf. You ain't got it in the agreement. You just got your splits on a piece of paper. You thought you was out here about to win. And you know what you about to do? You about to cry, okay? Anyway. Let's just say, because life is life and life be life in, okay? <laughs> Look, when you make songs with people, at the time that you're creating the song, you love them, okay? You think you like them. You think, oh, I'd like to make money with you. Let's make some money. And then like two weeks later after you done did the song, it's not one stop. And you just start realizing like, oh, every time I come around, they smell like onions. And I'm allergic to onions. I don't like them no more. Okay, you get all that artist energy within you, okay? You look, you just for some reason, you don't even know why, but you hate your producer, okay? You don't even understand it. You just woke up on hate. Anyway, you woke up and chose violence. You can't stand them no more. They're not gonna clear that song, okay? It wasn't one stop. So you can't clear it on behalf of all the parties involved. So you gonna lose out on your placements. Now you gonna lose money. Now you out here making songs that you can't make no money from. Ew, that is like the worst investment. It's not just a bad investment because you spent money making a song. You would like the money, the song to at least be able to make some money. Ew. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, look, look. Okay, you know rivals. Okay. Look, look, say, say. Yo, your co-writer, right? Y'all wrote a song together. Y'all made a whole bunch of songs together. She wake up one day, hot pocketing and whatnot, okay? Out here thotting in the land. And she sleep with your husband. You gonna clear the songs, okay? You still making money from that music? Or you hate her and them songs, okay? Because what's gonna happen is, and say you was a little thotty, okay? Thotty to trotty. And you out here taking people husbands, taking people boyfriends, taking people girlfriends, like who, whatever. Okay. Mr. Thought, Mr. Thought pocket. I'm talking to you. You done took somebody girlfriend and they don't want to make money with that music you made no more. But if you got that one stop split, she guess what? That song going to clear. Okay. That money coming in and they just going to have to make money with you. But all I'm trying to say is that when you made the song with these people, okay, their breath was probably smelling right. And now for some reason, their breath be kicking. Okay, their breath be out here doing karate. And you just can't take it no more. You don't even want to speak to them. Matter of fact, when they text you, you smell their breath. And you don't want to make no more money with them. But if you got that one-stop split sheet, okay, this songs could still be cleared. I'm just saying, in order for you to be a sing superstar, that money going to need to keep coming in. And you're going to need that one-stop split sheet so you can clear these songs, okay? Whatever you out here doing with your life and your world, okay? Now, oh, look, you might have looked. Somebody might have borrowed $20 from you. 
And they made three or four songs with you. And they won't pay you back. So now you're mad at them. And instead of you, with your one-stop split sheet, go make some money and take your money back and then get them the rest. Here you go. You're being petty. And you're going to miss out on some more money because now you won't even pitch them songs because you're mad at them. I need you, okay, to go ahead and make money. I need you to go ahead and out here and be a sync superstar. Let them haters in the back, okay? Bring that one-stop split sheet with you, okay? And make this money. Anyway, here's the solution. Okay, because this is real simple. You need a one-stop split sheet agreement. I don't care what your reasoning is. And a lot of y'all, look, let, let me give you the solution. I'm going to put the link in the show notes because the link going to take you to a template that I did. And in, first of all, let me just say this because... <laughs> The template is free, first of all, for now. Okay, you should download it now because I want the people that get to this early to get to this money. So I'm going to save you a couple dollars, okay? If you don't download it soon, I may put a price on it. When too, look, when too much website traffic be coming and downloading that thing, I might throw some numbers up there on it. But anyway, right now it's free. It's a one-stop template. All you have to do is change the information that's highlighted in orange. It's going to be in a different, different color. Change the, the stuff to fit to your situation, depending on how many writers or producers or co-writers or whatever, whatever, right? And get them people to sign it. It got the language that you need to make it one stop, okay? And it actually, let me tell you what the split sheet does and why I made it. It actually gives all the owners, if you so choose, you can either designate one person, but that's kind of dangerous too, because like I said, if you sleep with their husband, they probably ain't gonna clear your songs. So what this split sheet does is give all the owners... If it's one songwriter and one producer, it's going to give both parties one stop authority equally and individually. Meaning that the songwriter could be the one stop and clear 100% of the control of the record, right? And the producer can also be the one stop. You see the power that I'm giving. I'm giving it to all the parties so that no party can play the other party just because they get mad at them. Okay, just because you owe me $20, or just because I owe you $20 don't mean you're going to block my placements. Okay, because I could have paid you back if you would have cleared the record. But you got an attitude and now you're costing us money. Okay, do you see where Petty going to cost you money in sync? If you're trying to be a sync superstar, you're going to need these one-stop split sheet agreements. Okay, so now anyway, if you visit Sync Superstar Academy, that's SyncSuperstar.com. Go to the, da- the template downloads. Download the one-stop split sheet agreement. I'm look. I'm not hyping me up. I just want you to know the music supervisor has been complimenting this template. I want you to know the sync industry for the most part. A lot of these artists, the smart ones, okay, the, the future superstars, they already got the template. They already been using it in their agreements. They already set out here. They waiting for somebody to try to say, oh, no, you can't download. No, 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 no. You got to get my permission to clear this song. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, I could be the one stop. Anyway. This money going to come in whether you in Colombia, okay, or whether you go on the moon, okay? If you want to visit planet Pluto, that's on you. I'm going to clear this music while you out there. And when you come back, I'll give you your cut so that you can pay taxes on it. Anyway, bubble on deck. Look, if you're broke, don't talk to me. I said if you're broke, you can't talk to me. Hey. I only hear money back.